Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to version 9.30 and oh boy do we have a lot to talk about. So at the time of me making this video it is late at night, it's almost midnight where I am. Unfortunately I was not able to be online today during all the craziness has happened but I do want to go in I want to do a quick uh, review of 9.3 so far what I've seen yes also the oh man a lot of things there's a lot of crazy things to talk about today we're gonna start with it I am at 554 days check it out look what happens on day 560 I get myself 800 V bucks so uh, I'm excited about that definitely excited about that and what that means including potentially buying more llamas because I think I'm going to do the same thing I did last year where I bought every single llama that was available during the birthday event. We all know the birthday event is coming up even though we don't really know that much information about the birthday event yet but I will be talking about that a little bit more soon. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is definitely the storm, the so, uh, resupplies. So, resupplies have come back. They have come back with um, with a storm, but not in the sense of bringing bus us back with tickets. So, as you guys can see here, it's they're not timed. They're not timed with tickets. I'm a little sad at that. We've got some really, really great missions today. There's a wall launcher if you don't have it. Um, I think there was another. This is one. This one. There's this deliver the bomb level 100. Deliver the bomb. That's a beautiful one right there. Uh, there was another one that I thought was really, really good too. Is it? No, it's already gone. So that was from the last one. Um, that one's not bad either. If you need lightning in the bottle, definitely pick it up there. Uh, so definitely we have those. Like I said, unfortunately, none of the resupplies are coming back as pure beta storm missions but the beta storm missions are coming back so certain retrieve the data are coming back uh in re in 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 like that of course there's some coming back with the with the time dip, uh, as well it's crazy it's really awesome i'm really happy that we have the resupplies coming back that's really awesome uh we also have there a transform key for a uh, pistol if you're looking for one and someone did say no that was yesterday so there we go for that i'm very happy the resupplies are back but something else did happen today uh, a couple of things happened so we're going to talk about war games and we're going to talk about the um how can i put this the hidden updates that we've seen so far today now very important we always go check out the expansions to see if anything expansion has been added and it doesn't seem like anything expansion has been added to the expansion schematics i believe that's because we're not going to see anything added to the expansions until we see the birthday event pass uh yes the dragon weapons and other ones have been around for quite a while and those would be there are some weapons that would you know would be scheduled to go out of the regular schematics but i think they're just going to be waiting i think they're going to be holding off and waiting until that happens man there's so much to talk about i have so much to talk about in my brain right now okay let me go one by one here next one okay let's talk about this so the the big one that i want to talk about right now is definitely this one right here this was not in the patch notes when i did my patch note video this morning this actually did come out after um as you guys know sometimes they do constantly update these and i i gotta say you know what i i have my opinions about this um I, i'm gonna do more of a let's talk just really diving into what i feel about this and how i feel it changes some things because yes for example personally for me i used southie in my support slots to give me the infinite farming and farming isn't so bad that's the one thing i did this morning i did go in i did a couple of missions actually and i did run a few missions and i gotta tell you i gotta tell you it wasn't bad it actually wasn't so bad and actually i do believe the mission's still there um let me see is the mission still there if i think it was a it was a deliver the bomb if i'm not mistaken um, it was a level 80 something deliver the bomb if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it got changed. It might have got it might have changed out um, But I went in I tried it out and I gotta tell you I I'm I'm Hesitant I guess it, because It's it's not broken anymore. Okay 
Farming with Southie in your support slot is no longer broken. You can put him in your main slot, but definitely what made broken that setup before was having, you know, um, archaeologists in the first slot and then Southie in support, but it's still not bad. He's still recouping for every second. So if you see here, it says corrected an issue which was causing the Saurian Focus Hero perk to grant the same bonus as the Commander perk even when slotted in the non-Commander slot. Fossil Southie will be marked for reset in version 9.4 due to this. So if you want to reset him, if you don't want to use him anymore, you definitely will be able to. I got to tell you, honestly, personally, I don't think you should. It's still good. It's still good. And yes, I will be doing another video very soon. Uh, probably I'll, you know, I'll combine both the resupply and a a farming guide kind of together my farming setup and i gotta tell you it's still great it's still absolutely wonderful farming with jess archaeologist is still fantastic i i kind of had to stop farming because i'm completely full <laughs> um i farmed myself completely full of everything i have no room i actually need to farm myself some raindrops very soon so i can level up several traps and then start using up all of those materials and supplies that i saved up so that i can start working on my ssds as well we'll talk about that in a second and all that craziness that happened today wow that was crazy um but until then i gotta tell you it's still pretty great even with you know the slower recoup now it's four uh four energy every second instead of 12 it's still not bad because Unless you're trying to completely clear out a city with with archaeologists, which you guys know I did that and it wasn't bad. But unless you're trying to do that, you're, unless you're just regularly farming, hitting, farming, punching, you know, punching, walking a couple of steps, punching again, walking a couple of steps, punching, running to the next tree, punching, running to the next tree. I got to tell you, that is great. It, it, you honestly, honestly can you never really run out of energy it's actually really still effective you can do now you can do about five punches like back to back to back before running out but as long as you give it a couple of seconds in between it's not bad now that doesn't mean that there were a lot of other setups out there which now unfortunately are broken because or no longer work anymore because there were some combat setups that were depending on that heavy attack to just non-stop forever generate and complete into going you can still kind of do them but they are definitely not as super op as before so i gotta say you know i, I appreciate that they rebalanced the game I appreciate that they left it as long as they were, but I really think this would have been something that they should have fixed right away. It should have been something that the same day, it should have been fixed so that people wouldn't have gotten used to having this that was absolutely, completely broken in the game. But now we've got a new setup. We've got a new, new things we can do. I do feel that the balance of the game has returned, which I think is a positive. I feel it's a positive. Um, now there are other things that I feel that should be worked on and for example something that I was watching very closely today but unfortunately uh, well fortunately it was fixed fortunately it was fixed but today this morning we had this tweet uh, that popped up at 6 48 a.m which said we're aware of the issues that prevent our traps and base health from resetting after an SSD endurance mission and save the world we're currently working towards fix so I kind of wish that they would have done a bit more of an announcement here. I got to tell you, I really wish that I had been home at 6 a.m. to do this, but I wasn't, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, this was a huge one. I know a lot of people were jumping into the SSD Endurances, and a lot of people were losing their traps and base health. Uh, it wasn't resetting after, so a lot of people lost a lot, especially people who jumped into these missions right away. And I'll say this again because I've said it again. I've said it many times before. Issues like this, yes, they are tested. They do test them, but a, a handful of people or even a dozen people play testing something over and over again um, can't be, it, it, you can't really know that it's going to work that way until you release it and you have thousands, potentially tens of thousands of people playing something and play testing over, over and over again to find the bugs. Now, having said that, I gotta, I gotta say, this was a big mess up. This was a big one, because this one was re. You could, you could recreate this error every single time, no matter what. And for something as big as SSD endurances and war games and other SSDs, two people were reporting it that this was happening in, and that they didn't realize that this was happening. 
that's a pretty big one. That's a pretty huge one, and I I'm glad that they did fix it. Um, unfortunately, it did take a little bit, though. <laughs> um, it did take over 12 hours, but 12 hours later, a little over 12 hours later, it said, we resolved the issue that prevented traps and walls from resetting in Save the World's Endurance mode. This mode has been re-enabled re and ready for you to take on the challenge. So they did disable it, although I did hear reports of people saying that all throughout the day, they were able to get in. And then there were other people saying that also they had a problem of not being able to get into any mission. So I don't know. You guys let me know. Like I said, unfortunately, I was not able to play all day today. I've barely gotten home. I've barely sat down. I've been following all this information on the Trello board. I've been watching it on Reddit, on Twitter. Uh, and a lot of you guys, thank you very much for communicating me th uh, with me through Twitter, on the Discord, um, sending me DMs, sending me emails, letting me know kind of what's going on. I wish that I had been home to, to, to make more videos about this, talking about this. But I got to say, I appreciate that they did disable it. But to all the people who it's it's update day, it's an update day. And so many people wanting to play the game and not being able to get into missions. That's another negative. So hopefully now everything is fixed. I haven't had a chance to go in yet. I'm going to try and go into it uh, maybe here in a little bit. Or if not tomorrow during stream, I definitely will do it. Uh, which talking about stream, I will be releasing a tentative schedule very soon. Uh, but stream schedule is coming back up again starting next week. It's awesome. I have a lot of really great news to tell you guys. Uh, for those of you who watch over on DLive as well, you might go in to come over because I have something really, really special and awesome to share with you guys. It's going to be great. I'm so happy about that. Um, and yes, there's so much positive things happening, guys, especially after the last couple of weeks of things just being very, very negative. I, I'm very happy that things are progressing again. So hopefully that will be good. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. The last thing I want to talk about is something that several people have been talking to me over and over and over again today uh, is a lot of people saying, have I seen the... The data mined information for the weapons that are coming and yes i have um mostly because there's been a lot of people who have been sending me the information uh, i believe that even some of the people who who like first saw the information have been emailing me and sending me and i politely i politely thank everyone who who sends me that information but i also um, I don't want to talk about it and, and I do want to kind of explain really quickly why I don't. I know that this is probably a topic for another let's talk that I should do bigger. But the reason why I don't talk about data mining stuff is because, um, well, l let's put it this way. I'm, I, I'm old. Okay. <laughs> I'm old. I've lived a long time. I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. And one of the things that, that I've seen before, and especially with, with things like this, you know, when, when you have a developer and they work really hard on something and you got to know that the people who work on save the world, it, they love what they do. You can see it in the detail. I mean, like, seriously, if, if we just look here, I mean, I, I'm, I'm really, really wanting to pull from the event, from the, from the stuff, because something like this, look at this, something this simple. Look at something this simple, but look at the attention to detail. Look at the attention to detail on the orb. Look at the tiny little lightning bolt. Everything about this is just, it's gorgeous. Whoever works on these models, um, the people that you know put put so much time in to save the world you know that they are you know that they love what they do and and i i commend them because it's amazing it's absolutely beautiful so much of the work that they do and for me personally um and and I'll, i'm going to say it this way because this is the best way that i can kind of um that, that i that i can kind of uh explain it and and i do this on my streams a lot when people come asking for data mine information uh the reason that i say that i don't work that i don't really talk about it is that i want to be surprised i, I want to have fun i want to have fun i want to be surprised yes i completely understand about saving up for something really great that's coming i i don't deny that even when I've played games like mobile games in the past where there's a Japanese version and an English version and normally Japanese versions are way ahead of mobile games or other games so you can kind of tell what's coming in the future. I, I don't really like to compare it because I feel like it's a different game. Now with a game like this I don't really want to dive into data mining too much because I I want to give the developers you know I, I, I want to be surprised. I mean if the developer wants to tell me something or wants to show me something, then they want to do it. But if if like 
It's like when you see something or hear something and your friend tells you about it, but you're like, you know what? I already know all about it. Or you're really excited to tell someone something and they're like, or anything, a joke, a story, whatever. And they're like, I already know it really deflates you. Or even the worst part. And this is something that I say all the time. Imagine that you're a kid, you know, you're a kid and you're making something for your mom or your dad for Christmas, you know, and you either you either saved up your money and you bought them a gift or you made them a gift or something. And let's say that it's the day before Christmas or their birthday or something. And you're really, really excited to give this to, to this person that you really love or, you know, you, you're really excited to give this gift away. And then your little brother or sister just goes to that person and says, guess what this person is making you? And they tell them everything. <laughs> and you're kind of like, come on. <laughs> it's like you're like, it was supposed to be a surprise. It was supposed to be a surprise. And it's something that I've been saving up and waiting to do. Um, when it's in the game, you guys know this, whenever something is in the game, I'm all for talking about it. Like right here, if something, if something shows up here, I'm all about talking about it. I'm completely, let's go, let's talk about it, let's break it down, let's see what's in the game already. But if it's something that's not yet to the public, I like waiting. I like being surprised. I like giving the developers a chance to be like, you know what? We've been working on this a long time. We want to give this to you. Check it out. It's awesome. Now, having said that, I will also say this. <laughs> At the same time, it really upsets me when developers don't pat their own back. Like, if they've done something really awesome, if they've worked on something really great, if they give the community something, it's okay for them to say, hey, guys, we appreciate you. We appreciate all the you know the excitement you guys put into this we appreciate you know you guys standing by us and supporting us here you go because so many times we'll get something in the game and it's kind of like you know like i wish i could insert the travolta meme right now you're like what is this why why are we getting this what's this for are we supposed to keep this if not it was a mistake was it a thank you was it a appreciation so it kind of goes both ways in that sense. But anyway, that's why I, and I and again, I appreciate everyone who from this morning like I'm not kidding you. 20 minutes after I released my morning update video, there was already someone telling me a bunch of information that was data mined in the game and I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? Thank you." But I want to be surprised. You don't have to share that with me. It's okay. I'd rather wait and be surprised. So that person, that is just my personal opinion. Of course, you guys can play the game any way you want. Just like I say, you can spend the money any way you want. That's your thing. You are the ones with the power here. If you play a game, if you spend on the game, that's what makes it successful. Just like with YouTubers, a lot of people ask, you know, um, what my opinion is, a lot of things like that. And you know what? You guys, you got you, the viewers are the ones who hold the power in your hands. You're the ones who, if you decide to watch someone, you're giving them their views and you are raising them up. So that's definitely up to you. So definitely you guys do whatever you want. Most importantly, do what makes you happy. You know, if you enjoy playing this game, if it makes you happy, do it. If you if it doesn't make you happy, guess what? There are thousands, if not millions of games already out there that are pretty amazing. Oh my gosh, there's some amazing games out there. But anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. Sorry about that. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave it there, guys. You guys have a wonderful night. That's all I really wanted to talk about right now about version 9.30. There's a few other things that I do want to go over, especially within the missions, uh, within the quest as well, in the Tales of... Not the Tales of Beyond. The... Um, boop! The Beyond the Stellar Horizon. Um, I'm going to be finishing up those those videos and releasing those as well because I'm very excited about what's in there. As well as I'm going to be talking about some of the weapons, some of the heroes, some of my new setups. And of course, we're going to be finishing talking very soon about Mr. Plasmatron 9000 because, oh my gosh, guys, um, it's awesome. It's awesome. The, that setup... the. <laughs> The pistol setup with Plasmatron and the Zap Zap, it's I, I'm 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 over the moon. I'm loving it, but I got I gotta get myself the pure drops of rain, guys. We gotta go pure drop pure drop of rain hunting. I need a good mission that I can farm all day long because I desperately need that. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. Uh, my upgrade llama has a legendary, huh? Okay. It's not a mythic Pretend though, so I kind of want to save it, but that's a that's a pretty good one actually. That's a pretty good one. Hmm. Don't forget, we've got less than 20 hours now 
to be able to uh, get yourself the Plasmatron 9000. Make sure to get it. If you don't have it yet, thank you very much, guys. I will see you in the next one. See ya.